my man here, Ruben, actually also makes his own kombucha. <laughs> really? but one thing I think I appreciate, right, is this mm. is kind of usual cafe food, but yes. with that twist of the Japanese addition to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Welcome to another episode of Tastemakers, Aiken here. Ruben here, and as you guys can see, we are here today in Ju Chat once again. Uh, and really, this is a continuation of our previous episode where we checked out the crane. Today though, we're checking out a restaurant called Cafe Natsu. Mm. And this is actually located right below Crane, or as Aiken would like to say... Sandwich between Crane and Soto Scala. Can you tell us a little bit more about the food here? I mean, the inspiration behind it was... Myself as a chef, you know, I've, I've, I've travelled a fair bit. Uh, your bread, Western brunch classics, you know, Eggs Benedict, Florentine, we offer a few sandos as well. And it's um, a Western take with Japanese influence on the traditional you know, items that you would find on a, on a brunch menu. I mean, we wanted to design something, you know, visually quite striking, which I think we've done here. Something that's modern yet relaxed. We did that in terms of the shape, like the ceiling kind of flows into the walls the kind of raked effect on, on the walls. And we want to check out the entire space and then Absolutely. we're going to have some dishes, right? I hope so, yeah. Alright, let's, let's do it. it. We've got these uh, bay windows which we open up when it's not too hot. I mean, it's always hot, so we struggle a little bit there. We wanted to bring a bit of the outside energy into the restaurant as well. We've got the, um, we kept the original old Granican style um, facade. We introduced a little bit more of the modern touch as well with these Japanese pencil tiles that we imported from Japan. Uh, I don't know the meaning of Natsu. So what does that mean? I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, no, no. It means summer in Japanese. Ah, so, like summer, ah, we wanted okay. to tie that in right. together. Nice. Ooh, comfy. Of here course you're sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the guests that don't necessarily want to come here and eat. You know, mm. just okay. a quick coffee, relax with friend, catch up. Designed to be felt like you're in the comfort of your own home. So we wanted to, you know, going back to the design of the space, we really wanted to um, give the space a lot of texture, you know, a lot mm. of um, even the colour scheme as well, all matching nicely into each other. And I hear you about the texture because like in just one space we have like the rattan texture, you have this soft and then you have this wall texture mm, as well. So it. you all really made that like come together. It is. I mean, we tried to bring in a little bit of rattan as well, you know, with the partition in the back. Yeah. Gives a little bit of more privacy to the guests when they're sat here as well. Okay, chef, so you guys opened up the space with some, uh, a nod to the Japanese reference as well. We did. So yeah. we wanted to um, bring the whole restaurant as a, as a feeling together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we did put in the show in here, which displays all the preserved bonsais, yeah. which are locally made oh, on Juchat okay. Road also. Mm -hmm. Lighting is a big thing in a restaurant yeah. to me personally as well, because through the day, the, the light is natural, you know, but dinner time, like when the guest comes to eat, I personally enjoy it a little bit more intimate. Yeah. So we do kind of dim the lights yeah. and it adds more to the ambience as well. So out of the three of us, yes. I relate to this space the most, you know why? Why is that? Because I think I'm the most curvy. Well, I got a job going if you want. Wow, did, did he say John? Any John. Hostess, host. Uh, Maybe together. Yeah. Host okay. and hostess. Yeah, I'll be the host. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the hostess. Lah. Oh, you'll be the host. Curvy okay. hostess. This is the area where you feel a little bit more action from, from the kitchen. Yeah. And also the point where the restaurant kind of links into Crane Living. Mm. We worked in collaboration mm -hmm. for all the cutleries, the, the, the glassware, ah. the chairs and the lounge. Yeah. I just want to point out that like, you know, it's just the little things like the golden rims on mm. the glasses. They sort of just elevate everything like a little bit more, puts that touch of class. It does. Yeah. I mean, so for the roof, again, all the curves to represent the water. Mm. So they're all laser cut by hand as well. Oh wow, wow. And this is kind of to represent, you know, as I said, uh, adding more texture to the restaurant. We all really took the curve uh, sort of theme, like brought it across everything. Um, but chef, I noticed something. My man here, Ruben, actually also makes his own kombucha. <laughs> oh really? Uh, yeah. Not, not flavoured kombucha. I mean, that's something I've always wanted to go into. Yeah. So, so we yeah. got a pitch for you. Okay. Whether he can be your supplier. We'll have to try it first. You have to try it first. So, but we, is the hostess job still available? Because... Hostess and yeah, kombucha. Hostess and, yeah, okay. That's yeah. it. Same salary though. Same, Same salary. Yeah, brilliant, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us yes. around. But uh, now it's time to eat, right? It is. Can you tell us like what we're going to be having today? So we're going to try a bit of a range of the menu. Okay. So we're going to go straight in with the uh, wagyu beef sandwich. Ooh. 
we're going to try the Shio Kamenoki. Okay. And we're going to try the Eggs Florentine. Yum. Oh my goodness. I'm going to oh, mix well. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody, it's time to eat. I'm having the gnocchi. Uh -huh. I am having the wagyu sandal with yuzu dip. It's Florentine as well. Let's okay, come, let's go. give it a shot. Okay, so let me tell you about this gnocchi, okay? The first thing that hits you, right? It's like this explosion of flavors. Okay. It looks quite like, mm, okay, you know, a vegetarian dish. Mm, yeah. The sour notes hit you, and then you get the umami from the shio kombu. And this is that kind of dish, right? That Surprises yeah. you. How's yours? Uh, wagyu, of course, wagyu sandal. Mm. Uh, I think it's, it's very fatty. Mm. I think the beef is done to perfection. I really liked it. And so it's savory, right? Mm. But when I dip it into this sauce, it kind of gives this like tangy, mm. um, like fruity aftertaste. Yeah. So I think gelling together, it just makes this very uh, wholesome kind of taste. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we're going to try the eggs Florentine right now. Okay. Yeah. This looks familiar because it resembles an eggs Benedict. Yep. You know what the difference is? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so the difference uh, is uh, the eggs Benedict have ham. This is replaced with spinach and for uh, here at Cafe Natsu with crab. Oh, okay. that's crab? Yeah, oh, crab okay. meat underneath. So roots, okay, let's, let's go, do let's it. Go. There's no, there's no ah. um, neat way to eat this. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know that. Mm. The first hint I got was that of the crab meat. Yes. And then only the yolk came in. So yeah. it's kind of like a blend again of yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love okay, so like for eggs Florentine, right? It usually comes with a uh, Hollandaise sauce. Mm. He infused miso into it. So that's the Japanese element again. Okay. So you have a bit of that umami to that very creamy sauce with the creamy egg and then the sweet crab. That was like Greek. <laughs> like that, I just so essentially here again, like they are familiar cafe dishes, yeah. but just really um, with an elevation from the Japanese ingredients like right. the chio kombu, mm. uh, the Japanese pumpkin, the furokake, and of course the wagyu sandal with the yuzu dip. Ooh. Oh, I think we did good. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. Oh, and uh, let's also not forget, sir. Kombucha, cheers. cheers. <laughs> The thing that stood out to me is the texture. Yes. You got this, you got something like this, and all the curves and everything, right? Mm. And somehow they still made it uh, feel easy and comfortable. Right. Like it's not right. trying too hard. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Grand Budapest. Mm, yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah. you. Yes, me. The food. Ayo. What was your experience like? Okay, so I told you before the shoot, right? There were so many words I had no idea about, like Shio Kong Wu, uh, what was it, Umami. I had to Google all this beforehand. <laughs> um, and I was very stressed, but then I think just going through the experience, it turned out to be very chill. And one thing I think I appreciate. Right, is this mm. is kind of usual cafe food, but yes. with that twist of the Japanese addition. To Absolutely, it, which I think just really brings out the flavors, and uh, it's a really fun experience overall. Yeah, and best of all, guys, yep. we got hired by Chef. We got hired to be hostesses and kombucha yeah. makers. Yeah, can I be the kombucha maker? Can yeah, let's go. Be the yeah. the, so the, if the you want to uh, come look for us at Cafe Nat, so this is where we're working. We'll be behind the counter, so uh, yeah. don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next time. Hey, so you ah. can make flavored kombucha, yeah. right? Uh -huh.